this way? What's your suave way of... Oh, it always depends on the individual. Less on the line itself. <clears throat> I see. I could share oh, mine first. a lady right next to you. Give it a go. Oh, she's willing to share? Go ahead. <laughs> so, there's a very, very... I'd say initiative man who pointed a finger at me and curled it, like so. And when I came closer to him to hear his request, he said, I made you come with one finger, what about two? <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and that oh was <laughs> the most abrasive and rash thing I've heard, but I wouldn't lie if I didn't offer him a date. I see. Oh, that's so oh, much. That's uh, abrasive to say the least. Marcus, write that one down. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Made you come out with one finger. <laughs> still working on that book. Make sure you make sure you <laughs> quote it. Make, it. make sure you quote it from the bathhouse oh, lady. Right. Otherwise, it's just gonna look weird as fuck in the book. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> that's from Azure. Azure. How do you spell it? A C A R A Y. Alright, I got it. <clears throat> okay. Alright, Tiberius, what do you got? Uh, this really has to be the right moment. I don't have something like pre prepared like that. You, you're not pre prepared? <laughs> It's more like but you're prepared more than the any of us <clears throat> for any situation. I would beg to differ. I would say, Marcus, you're more prepared than I. I'm more. Th I no, <sighs> I'm paranoid when I bring out all those weapons and shit. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, let's see. It really depends on the individual and the right mood more than anything else. Mm. Mm hmm. Sounds like a lot of excuses. There's more heart to it. How about you come back to me? Give me a moment. To right. consider That's a good one. Things I've How about you come back to me? <laughs> well, I had one Write back when I was a soap Write that down. Man. Go on. Yes. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Of course. Well, back when I was making soap, um... There'd be a couple times where I'd have to mix scents and flavors to try to get something really nice, because just soap, uh -huh. people don't go for it. So I go for just uh, soap. For myself as a rose knight, I would I would say something akin... I don't really do pickup lines, but it's more of, I like to get to know the girl. But I would say, if I'm a rose and you're a honey, I think we'd make a pretty nice blend. Oh, we go mixed together. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> this it is usually while well, I'm churning the soap to of... make it. That's are you sh are you shirtless at the time? Ah, uh, so oh, yes, yes, and then you're like, well, no, really like nice at that table mm -hmm. in uh, the other town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you, my lord? Sad idea. We skipped over you. <clears throat> I have one pre-prepared, because I like to be prepared. All right, all right. I say, um, <laughs> you look rather exotic. Are you sure you don't have any drow in you? Wow. And, and then I say, <laughs> would you like to? <laughs> yeah, that's the part I was waiting for, yeah. <laughs> ah, I love it. Hey, Miss Elm. <laughs> They don't know that the... Mm. Hmm? Did anyone else come in here and go upstairs? Uh, uh, not yeah. from my knowledge. No. No? We have the space prepared, but we haven't had anybody else come in to go up there. Mm. All right, we have to find them. Okay. Like, they could join us. Evening, but... Basil. <laughs> okay. oh. Evening. <laughs> well, the more the merrier. Well, they've rented the space upstairs. Oh. I have a feeling that's what that is about. <clears throat> they? Right. I mean, they mentioned the party, but I don't know anything else. 
Benson was going right. to sponsor something over at the tavern today. Yes, Benson is Good also tonight. yeah he, apparently buying mm -hmm. everybody at the tavern drinks tonight. Mm -hmm. Wow! So just a heads up. He has been recently freed from debt with us, so he is celebrating. By going into debt and spending all his money buying drinks for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, apparently Indeed. a friend helped him out that uh, gave him extra, so he's very happy about it. Lucky him. <laughs> it does sound like it's a very generous friend indeed. Where do we leave off on pickup lines? Well, I I dropped my line. That was amazing. I yeah. yeah. I have never heard that before. I don't get to use my Must my race very one. often, but when I do. <laughs> It's quite poopy. Hey, if it's clever, <laughs> at least I can't speak for all women, but I appreciate a clever pickup line. Even if I don't care for the person delivering it, if it's a clever pickup line, I have to give them credit oh, in I some am way. Nothing but clever. <laughs> I see, I see. I haven't seen anyone yet. Hey. It's only been like three minutes since you were last seen anyone? here. Unless they walked past and we never saw. <laughs> Unless they just... walked past. Who are you speaking of? Kang. Tang and Lisa. Was right here on this, on Tang. This Wait, Tang and Lisa. Hold on. Is that who's going up there? Well, hold on. That's what I planned. Yeah. Oh. Should we investigate? I've no. got nothing. No, I don't want any involvement. Oh, don't worry. You're not investigating anything. <laughs> it was a jest. <laughs> Is it a surprise? <laughs> mm. I suppose so. Oh, mm. you just missed her. She went out. Oh, God. Nope. No, I know. <laughs> Hang and Lisa. What about you, Miss Brian? Have you heard of any good pickup lines come your way? Not really, no. Hmm. I have been given a rose, though. And I've been taken out on a date. So, that's about it. Wow. Wonder who that was. <laughs> hmm. Can't put my finger on it. Well, not who gave me the rose. <laughs> oh, very good. You're a rose knight. You could look into that, Marcus, couldn't you? I could. <laughs> Absolutely. You know where every rose in Ozera <laughs> is. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Oh. And there's three right here. I think the, the one... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You guys really are charming. How are we ever going to <laughs> behave? I eat what if I don't want you to? I think the pickup line that... Oh. Sorry, I'm just on a roll tonight. We only have one room available. Uh-oh. I might do any no water. You might have bought off more than you can chew. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Lots of pickup lines spot. that have been used on me. I cannot... Ah. Get the time someone's actually said to me, I hate to see you leave, but I love to walk, watch you walk away. I feel like I've heard someone that one so many times. That. <laughs> Looks like, my lord, all the ladies are towards you this evening now. Of course, you sparked the something now. Power. feel like we should share the load, so to speak, right? Right? Uh, right? Uh, no, this ain't a ring. These are a ring of girls, and they're for you. <laughs> what can I say? Mom, I think our styles are very compatible. Four silver for all of us. <laughs> wow. Four silver for her. Four silver for her. And four for. I can come in for the assist. <laughs> the tag out, tag two. <laughs> Little known. <laughs> I get the yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have one girl oh. in the corner with the water bottle and a rag. <laughs> oh. oh my 
gosh. So we're waiting for Tang and Lisa to show up. Is that what we're doing? Apparently. <clears throat> mm hmm. That's an interesting development. Mm hmm. I'm still uh, getting to know some of them. Hey, you. Is there a particular reason? Particular reason for what? <clears throat> that it's an interesting combo. Well, one's a warforged. Oh, and I see. Is that a... is what his name is. Very outdoorsy wolf girl. Uh, oh. Oh. And okay, I, I understand the comments now. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Mm. Oh, how would that work? Ask Basil. <laughs> One is forced to wonder. <laughs> Ask Basil. Ask Basil. Yeah, mm. Ask. Warforged <laughs> augment at a time. I don't know. I haven't seen him. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He takes off an arm. Oh, the oh. man of the hour! What? Come on! Right, both of you. Welcome hey, in! Hi. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Oh, Shani can <laughs> join us. <laughs> He's probably preoccupied, let's be honest. I wonder if they're going in for the assist. <laughs> I mean... Please don't talk what? about my sister like that. Oh, sorry. Oh. Your sister? Apology. <clears throat> Basically. My lord, maybe we've overstayed our welcome. <laughs> oh. I mean, oh, you could always get more apple teenies if you... absolutely ravaged. I've never uh, even yes. seen it yet. Oh, that's what happens when you have too much fun at times with so too many beautiful women. Oh. <laughs> For you, those Triton you guys ladies? have been working in the sun all day. What are you want, uh, interested yeah. in any massages always this evening? Always a different experience. So Tim, too. Oh, always. Have to it help relax oh, the muscles. the adventuring type. I'll, I'll get one for uh, me okay. and my lord. How about you, Tiberius? Ah, mm. uh, I'm quite fine. Thank you for the offer, though. <laughs> all right. Don't really like well, we just gotta lean forward me. and they do their work. Oh. Oh, I see. No disrespect. Just a personal thing. Oh, no, none taken. Hmm. Well, at the very least, uh, uh, Marcus can attest to my magic fingers. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think that Marcus. That surprise me one bit. Marcus definitely needs a <laughs> hand to get all, all of those knots out. And he's such a big, yes, strong boy, ladies. it might take all three of you, if you don't mind. Yes! Oh, God. <laughs> you know, he, he, he worked tirelessly all day. Yeah, you did have quite your shoulder quite banged up the last time you came in here. Right? Look a, at this poor area. man. <laughs> Oh my lord. Okay. Yep. Good luck. Quickly escape. A pleasure, ladies. Yep. Marcus, enjoy. This is just oh, like yesterday. Uh, <laughs> look forward to the next challenge. So I'll see y'all when I get out. <laughs> Take your time. No rush now. Today. If we ever let him I go. hope the strength comes out. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Please be gentle. <laughs> I will. I'll get the lower back. I may look strong, but I'm fragile. <laughs> ah, do what you gotta do. <laughs> <clears throat> the best way to get rid of a uh, stubborn knot is to be rough with it. Gradually. <sighs> Hey, would you like to get the lower back while I get the arm? <sighs> oh, that feels amazing. All right. <laughs> you sure you don't want to stay? I'd hate to ruin his fun and steal all the women from him.
Holding up okay. You know what I realized, my lord? Oh. Hmm. We left him to be fodded with the bill again. Oh, did we? Ah, <sighs> oh, shucks. He did, really he did get paid a silver for that, uh, for the war. We only got paid, what, 25 copper? Each? Yes. <clears throat> really, oh, we're on meager rations. Disappointing. He can have the whole banquet. Exactly. You were asking if I was holding up all right. Yes, figured I'd check in. Well... If I'm being honest about it, I might be doing something stupid tomorrow. Dare I ask? You can if you wish. What are you doing? Well, I may or may not... Uh. Well, uh, be attempting to gather the equipment I need. The equipment? Uh, well, the armor I've been desperately looking through the markets for. Oh. Well. My lord, how much do you know about knights, in the sense of, uh, well, when it comes to too much downtime? <clears throat> knights? Yes. Uh, not too much in terms of downtime. I haven't had that luxury. Well, sometimes knights tend to um, engage in some dangerous games, to say the least. Simply, they engage in duels at times, and when the duel is over and the win is announced, the loser is so-called ransomed. This way, they either receive coin, armor, horses, swords. It's rare to find them, because, frankly, it's looked down upon very much by the lords and ladies, and if seen by the regular guards, are usually arrested. Duels are not really well permitted if lords of different stamps are seen, well, their knights engaging in such frivolous activities. Mm -hmm. It can also spike a lot of tension at times. <laughs> you do someone for some armor. Uh, possibly. From what I hear, they have quite a few uh, people that might issue an interesting challenge. It might be hard, though, considering I'm not a well-renowned knight in this dynasty, unfortunately, but I'll have to try my best to try to convince them. Who are you dueling? There's a risk, though. That's the thing I don't know yet. I'd have to sp I just learned about the location today. It's like an underground fight ring. Uh, the thing is, is death is very possible in this case, unlike the fight rings. When a knight dies, it does affect the lord they serve, so... Yes, it does, Tiberius. <sighs> I'm sure I'll be fine. You want to be at night, me so I'll have the advantage. But, you know, we need you. <clears throat> Don't get yourself killed. And I didn't hear any of this. <sighs> Well, this is probably for the best. But if you want to come and cheer me on, I'd appreciate it. Would they accept a lord there? Sounds like the kind of thing that, uh, mm -hmm. if I was spotted at, would not go over well for the house. Well, as long as you hide your face, it wouldn't be a problem. I'll see. Uh, your discretion, my lord.
now we walk around the town and see what's wrong while we were in the bath. quiet with everyone gone on this mission. <clears throat> kind of surprised you didn't go with them, to be honest. Hmm. It's a nice pleasant. Hmm. Seems like your kind of thing. You know, helping out a monastery from lizard people or whatever the fuck they're doing. Uh, sorry, say again. <clears throat> a lot of voices in my head for us in a moment. Ah, um, the mission that everyone's gone off on. I'm surprised you didn't go with them. Seemed like your kind of thing. I wasn't invited. <laughs> I wasn't even told it was happening until everyone was leaving. I had no idea. I heard about some type of uh, monastery thing, but uh, with lizard men, but I wasn't asked. I offered to help if they needed help, but I was never asked to join them same for me they never asked but I suppose it's better yeah I would agree probably for the better don't get me wrong Mirin has done a lot of good from what I've seen but the dabblings of uh, another religion is something best to stay away from <clears throat> can get overly complicated very quickly do you follow a god mm, I do I am from a Templar order, after all. Who do you follow? Ah. Uh, it's a little more complicated. Uh, like I said, there's many secrets within the order. <clears throat> Maybe when the time's right, I can tell you a little more about it. it Especially it, when we're not in the open. It's a secret god. No, just more secrets of the order. That's not that's sh spread around. Oh, perfect timing. Wait, were we like backwards and they went to our shop? Well, yes, that's it's complicated to say the least. Skylar. Hmm. Oh, Sean's looking <sighs> for you. Where is he? Uh, he went to your place, actually. I see him right there, my lord. Shall I go hunt him down? Actually, I have a grappling hook right yeah. here. Whoa, no, 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 no. No. Go on. You can't hit him with a grappling hook. No, no, no. What are you doing with no Tang and so soft and... What do you mean? Tiberius. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What are you, do you said it was there, you set it up. Yeah, it was, it's, it's Tang's awakening day, and I figured it, them spending some time together would be nice. You've been into what Venora's serving, haven't you? What do you mean? <clears throat> no, I just see how shy and like, you know. She gets around him. Hmm. I didn't know if it was reciprocated or not, but, you know, he seems to like her attention, so... Hmm. And plus, like, what else are you supposed to get a Warforged for his awakening day or his birthday besides, like, quality time with people? Mm. Ideally I not figured, my sister. You know, um... Eh, uh, sorry. I didn't really expect you to be in there when we went in there. Whoever's... I've been planning this all day. I... yeah. Don't let me get in the way. Oh. Thank you, need Ocean. My lord, yes. I'll be stepping away for a moment. Mm. It won't be long. Sure. This might right. come off as a you very generic or? and strange right. question, but other than the blacksmith, did you ever have any other hobbies? Uh, we can go to the spot on the wall, and I'll probably be there. He fancies you. He's trying maybe. to get to know you. Oh my god. <laughs> And now I've been. Pinned. What What do you mean? Oh, what do you, What do you mean by that? That's such a vague and <sighs> strange. Fuck. Who's... Let me already just spell it out for you. Who's putting me up to this? Would you actually like to know? Sure. Your sister. 
What does she need? It's not what she needs. It's what she wants to do for you. Apparently, she wants to give you something. A sort of gift for your coronation into lordship. We'll just do that at the same time. She's never been supportive of it. I don't know why she would give a gift. Strange, isn't it? Seeing family members change. Point proven. Well, what's this about hobbies? What do you mean by that? She wants to give you something, but she doesn't know what. She's not exactly a gift giver, obviously. Like, I'm not much really of a, a giver of much of anything. Every gift that I've had, I've kept with me <laughs> until it disintegrates or I lose it. <clears throat> well, they were first risky thinking jewelry, but if I'm being honest, jewelry's not exactly, well, your thing. I mean, it's too bright, and I think it goes against your ideas of, well... You're looking at the person who doesn't like to wear red because it's too bright. I like to think that I'm pretty good at picking up on things then, so I told them on my head. They thought of giving you a sword, but if I recall correctly, that sword on your hip is more important to you than about almost any possessional object you have. Yes. This will pass down to... So I... Whoever is alive. <laughs> don't make it sound so morbid. I mean, I don't think I'll be having a but... kid anytime soon. There's a lot left. For, there's a lot for you to do. Being a father, on top of that, would be uh, a tad overwhelming. I changed a baby this morning, actually. <laughs> First time without help. You changed a baby. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Disgusted or maybe confused? I don't know. It needed to be done. I just don't want the kid to grow up like I did. You know. Um, hobbies, I, I don't know. Uh, well, think about it. Things, obviously, may be in the rare time that you ever were allowed time for yourself. I never had that. <laughs> well, that's two things you and I can, agree, I can uh, say we never had. But, hmm. Well, think, let's see. I... They were thinking something like for blacksmithing, but I was like, that's not really, <clears throat> that's something I think basically you take more as a thing with your father. Yes. It's okay, I, I know I'm difficult to shop mm. for, I don't really expect anything. Don't. <laughs> it's not for me, I'm at least trying to help her. I know, I, I just, it's I The first time I think I've ever even had, had her have any sort of trust in me, or even delegate me to even try and help her. She usually always just points at me and angrily, angrily looks at yes. me. I just know it's frustrating. I to try I an orange, maybe. <laughs> oh, that's popping against it. Be honest, I'm partially curious myself. I, I wish I could give you an answer. I do. Yeah. Uh, there's more to the man. Hmm. Uh, You know, it sounds crazy in a way, but is there a particular favorite food you have? Oranges. Oranges. Mm. Do you have them? Any, do you like them in any particular fashion? Maybe made into something. I like them because that would be the, the easiest thing to steal, and I would just <laughs> the whole bag. <laughs> That's fair. Hey. I prefer, I'm more of a fan of basically of uh, limes and peaches too. Mm. They help contrast each other, one being very sweet and the other being very, well, sour. But I took what I could get. Um, I suppose I could think on it. Uh, it's a strange thing to sure. consider. <laughs> Sorry, I. Just don't. Tell your sister I asked these questions, or she will probably try and kill me. <laughs> okay. A little secret. <clears throat> I've lost count of the amount of de potential death threats she's given me if I ever opened my mouth about certain things. Obviously, never have told her soul anything. 
Yeah. I know our little secret. Alongside, I don't know how many, how many more you and I keep. <laughs> Added to the list. Yeah. <laughs> our ever-growing list. What's wrong? It's rough, you know. His departure still lingers on you, doesn't it? Uh, of course it does, but it's more than that. It's just all of it. The things I have to do... <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> I'm willing to listen, if anything. If it makes it feel it any better. Stop by for a drink? I would. I need to talk to Sarah about something, though. Sarah, when did I last see her? I saw her at the tavern before we started talking, but... I don't know. I guess, if anything, if she's obviously not with Arka, I would think that she's probably by her house. I'll have a look. And if I think of something, I'll... I won't keep you then. I'll let you know. You know where to find me. <laughs> Thank you. For our little chat, Kyla. I appreciate it as always. Good fighting today. <laughs> it's easier when you have proper leaders. Mm. Take it easy. Don't tell yourself short, my friend. Haka. <clears throat> Seen Sarah. Sarah. <sighs> she was here, then she got up. And you don't know where she is now? Okay. What's that book you've been carrying? It is a grammar book. As you open it up, on the very first page there is Crenshaw's handwriting of the alphabet with the first four letters underlined and just a bunch of random words. You learning? Good. If uh, you do see Sarah and uh, I'm not asleep, let her know I'm looking for her. Sarah back. <clears throat> Don't remember. It's okay. I'll do a quick look around and yeah. Stay safe, Alka. Bye bye. It's hard when people ask, like, what's a gift I can get Kyla? It's fucking hard, man. Like, he doesn't... Well, he doesn't really think about that shit. He just appreciates what he has.
That's exactly it, JK. Wants people, not gifts. He doesn't like jewelry. It's too flashy. Everything that he needs, he has. But he does like the more practical stuff. The wrist, the van brace that, um... That Mirren got him. That's a good one. He's not really one for experiences. He's not like... I wanna go out into the ocean and catch a fish. He doesn't really care much for those. Most of the things he needs, he has. <clears throat> there she is. What color? Lurking. Where'd he go? Tyler. Oh. <laughs> Perfect timing. Hi. <sighs> Hi. Here, I'll do the old sit on the table thing so I can look at both of you. Thanks. Uh, uh, ew. Knowledge. Look. Do I overhear you leaving? <sighs> Not for a long time. But eventually, yes. You're not just gonna disappear on me, are you? I was going to tell you when I had more of an idea, and... It was less of just... A few sentences, I guess. I haven't... Done much planning, but it's not for anything bad. You remember anything I've told you about my past? The little bits and bobs. I've been somewhat secretive about it, but... Would you like to know some things about my past? Of course. Well, the one thing you do know, and I know you remember, is that when I was born, I was born to no parents. Yes. And all that loss. Yes. My family was not a part of my life for a reason that I have yet to fully learn about. And I grew up being sent from family to family and always ending up the problem. Eventually, these problems started killing people and family stopped taking me in. Once I was old enough to feed myself, they threw me to the wilderness. I lived like an animal amongst the monsters of the Underdark. And for some reason they left me alone. Maybe because I was just like them. But recently, for the first time in my 80 plus years, I've come across something that could link me back to at least finding out what happened to them. My blood. But I have to go far away. Yeah, I could imagine. <clears throat> if I could take you with me, I would. But your path is set somewhere else. Yeah. Hey, it's not going to be that bad. We have thousands of years. There's still plenty of time for me to be there for you. 
but I need to do this for myself. Of course. It would never stop you. Let me know how I can help while I'm here. Mm. Staying alive until you get on that ship would help. I'm fucking trying. You're doing a really good job. I wish I was doing a better job at being a good friend. Been there when we needed you. That's more than I can say about a lot of people. I... I made a very huge mistake today. And I almost... I almost fucked up again. Do you remember... Do you remember when you suddenly collapsed years ago? Yes. The most painful thing in my life. I almost fucked up in a similar way today. By being stupid and impatient. I thought that side of you was handled. Like that thing. It is. The only part of it that's similar is me. The mistake that I made, which is being impatient, oh. not thinking things through. I endangered not only Arka, but everyone in the party. Sometimes the best thing I can do is leave. The things I'm trying to accomplish, they're going to become far greater than notice sooner rather than later. But when you need me, I will drop everything. But you don't really seem to need me very much anymore. Not that that's a problem. You've surrounded yourself with good people. Reliable people. You say that. <clears throat> I've just not mm. been able to do the stuff that we usually do together. <clears throat> I've been under lock and key. So to speak. One slip up and everything comes crumbling out from under you. Exactly. I've said it before, but you can lean on me for those things. I have no hesitation in getting what needs to be done, done efficiently. I know. The issue is I don't even get to that point. <clears throat> it's all, how will this affect so-and-so? How does this affect, so if this happens, how does this happen to this person? And I have to navigate that fucking web. I like what I do, and I have the ability to do a lot of good, but it was so much simpler when I just, you know. I do not envy your position, not in the slightest. I spend a hundred days looking after these people, protecting them, defending them, and one day where I need to rely on them for something. They're not there, or they talk back. I have to do one thing that is bad, that I don't even want to do, and <laughs> they give me shit for it, like everything else before that doesn't matter. These loyalties to these people that 
say terrible things behind our backs. Oh, and I... Just remember... Church. We're not going to be able to stick our neck out much anymore. For other people. No. That's another reason why it's better if there's some distance between us. The path I am taking directly conflicts with you and your fathers here in Nottis. And I will not allow it anymore. You're referring to the other drow. I see. In more than one way. I don't want to be on we the other end of a fight with you. About. It will not come to that. I will protect this place with my life as long as you are here. <sighs> that, that's... You saw what I could do. That's the issue, it's this fucking place. It won't be important forever. Arn and I have dumped gold's worth of resources into this fucking place, and we don't even intend to stay here. It's a stepping stone. It is necessary. Everything that's happening is necessary. And it's going to fucking suck. Not that I know why, but just from what I've seen on the sidelines. It's only going to get worse. But with that comes you gaining the experience to gain the upper hand every single time they try to make it worse. You're a fucking drow. Use it. You don't have to kill people. You are the only drow male that has ever gotten the slip on me in conversation. You are capable of controlling all of these fucking humans and getting exactly what you want. You've lived longer than all of them in that fucking castle. Take them by their fucking balls. the pep talk of course you show up about fucking time I'll you're leave. excused I'll leave the two of you to it good idea I'll find you later have a good night you too your timing I don't Come care on, about okay. your words. Let's go. Hurry up. Be careful. Always. It's my middle name.
Ah, evening. Waiting for someone specific? Well, I did have a man here, but he sort of vanished and was taken by the world, by my draw magic. I wondered why you had a light source up here. <laughs> How are you doing, my lord? Surviving. Well, I've had a few very interesting conversations with the man. Some promising news, to say the least, for myself. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. I just wanted to check on you, make oh. sure you weren't being accosted. I'll, um, I'll oh, you... my lord, me being accosted, you're asking me to have a good time now. <laughs> Haven't seen Marcus yet. I have oh, to believe... I'm you, my lord, he's been taken by the women. Yeah, that'd be right. Hey, look, if you don't, uh, catch me before you turn in, you have a good night, okay? You as well, my lord. If you need anything, do let me know. <clears throat> I don't like them putting chemicals in the incense that turns my friggin' knights gay. Do you understand? in the bathhouse that turned my friggin' nights gay. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally walk up on... <sighs> Fuck, yeah. That's the last thing I wanted. I was worried about that. <clears throat> Do not want to get involved. Gay nights. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my fucking house, homie. Yeah, I want to go to my house, but the viper and his shit are all over there near the entrance, and I don't want to like look like I'm peeping on him. Get rose incense. Oh, maybe. Oh my. Always a possibility. 
Good night, evening. How the no fuck problem. do they stay open if they are fucking... They don't even have a front of house person half the time. I think sometimes I they do, that myself. but, uh, yeah. I, I think it's just because it's the tavern. <laughs> the majority of the time when I show up here, there is fucking no one there to serve me. It is depressing. Oh, goodness. Mm. That's why I try to come by normally in the morning. First things first, everybody's getting breakfast. This is true, but I am not a day drinker. I was promised a party. <laughs> a party. I see. <laughs> The gang's we all were here. Told it was going to be a party, but so far we are, yeah, so far we are the uh, the first ones to arrive to said party. It seems. Who is hosting said party? If that Benson, if that Benson is a no show, we're gonna have to tell him how disappointed we are. Well, <sighs> the torches are out. There is no drinks out, and we are the only people here. <laughs> I got in a new mm -hmm. dress and everything. Well, it looks spectacular, right? both of you. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. Oh, what a shame. I was looking forward to a bevy of potential customers. Right. Who do we have the pleasure to speaking to? My name is Sevatar. A pleasure. Ah. Nice to meet you. Azare. Azare. Ari. Ari. Why do Bath Hathgos have such beautiful names? Why is this? <laughs> to attract the oh, beautiful men. Exactly. You did not make your own names, though, no? <laughs> well, well, I can speak for everyone. <laughs> is this your man? The tavern's open. I fucking Absolutely wish. Absolutely not. Doesn't seem to be. <laughs> they were missing out on all of these customers. Right. Honestly. We we're waiting. Yeah. yeah, we were waiting on a gentleman named Benson. He said he was going to buy drinks for everyone at the tavern tonight. But <laughs> either we're early or he stood us up. The nerve of this man. <laughs> You know, I'm going to give it another a... 20 minutes. I've never known a reliable Benson in my life. I've never known a Benson. <laughs> well, he was many? quite good, yes, time. You've never known a Benson? Mm. I've m maybe one, but it was his last name. Eh. I mean, Fair he seems enough. quite excited. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's just running late. Maybe someone Could realized really he was throwing around a lot of money and took it from him. Could be face down Entirely in Stabber's possible. Alley. He was exactly... I mean, I hope not. Hmm. I don't know. I will hold out hope, <laughs> at least for a little while. <clears throat> right. It is quite rude to leave ladies waiting, is it not? Indeed. I... <laughs> Especially when they were promised free drink. Shameful. Shameful attitude. I even told him I would thank him in my own way. Once I got this thing. Hmm. The spies being stood up. I know. Less coin, less time in the day. Especially after window shopping. How will we afford nice things if we can't get customers? Mm hmm. Go get my hopes up. Can you believe the disrespect of these two ladies that has been given to them? I know. Don't want to be a fool to sign these two up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I don't yeah. think I've been, I've been introduced to you. My name is Ari. May I have your name? Pleasure, Ari. Uh, name's Mikkel. Wonderful to meet you. Nice, Ari, my say, Our luck must be turning around. At least we have a nice gentleman to talk to. Takes a little bit of the sting out of it. <laughs> 
Uh, perhaps. Is it a requirement for Imperial officers to uh, have a mustache? No, it's a passion. Sort of a... Statement. Well, you look I very distinguished. Officers, uh, well, thank you. There's a whole thing of higher ranking. A higher ranking officer had a, had a mustache. He made a name for himself, and it kind of caught on after that. Hmm. Following in his footsteps. Eh, I think it looks good, personally. You wouldn't be wrong. I'm forced to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Gives us a nice ruggedness. <sighs> yeah, typically around this hour, the tavern's bustling. Bit old to see it so quiet. Cool. Yeah. The entire town I is assume. like this, too. Quiet town. Today, well, it seems like a lot of people have been busy. There was a lot of work on the wall. I know that was happening today. Must be dead tired. Yes. They were gone to bed. I got treated to some very, very welcome sights of some well um formed men. All shirtless. So I've had a good day. <laughs> we had these two drow and this that? one scraping man. Oh my goodness. We all had to massage scraping him in order to get everything out. <laughs> yes. Sounds like a lucky man. Strapping, I mean. Strapping, yeah. There you go. Uh, I know, um, whenever I did work at home, um, either building a barn, a shed, or something like that, I, uh, after I was done, I couldn't wait to get to the tavern. <clears throat> Is this true? Also, it seems Long like a lot work. of them were running so, for the uh, bathhouse. <laughs> I uh, didn't have a bathhouse where I was at. Small village. Like six people live there. Well, the six families ah. or so. Yes. I was about to say six people, including yourself. <laughs> no, six families. Sounds like a recipe uh, for disaster. Nice. You piss off one person from one family and, well... Uh, suppose, and depends suppose. on the family. Sometimes they'll fight each other, or then they'll fight strangers. I gotta say, I gotta say, one of the families, the uh, the head of the house, mean old lady. Mm. She had a problem with you. She would let you know, and then some. Oh, the old surveillance Sometimes grandmothers. <laughs> Look, <laughs> have nothing. <laughs> If you heard her yelling, you knew there was a problem. Mm -hmm. The ones that sit on the porch <laughs> and knit and have nothing better to do than people watch. <laughs> and gossip all day. What they like to live. Mm -hmm. Not gonna... Not gonna <laughs> lie, sitting in front of that clinic, I feel like one sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> I bet you get some interesting people that come by, at least. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> what is what is the um the the time that you've I guess remembered or comes to mind the most when you just saw someone heading your way and you're like, oh no, <laughs> that's that's a, that's my problem. <laughs> it was when Soma was more prevalent in the clinic. Mm. Somebody had something happen to them, to a... Uh... Yeah. Um, and... He had to... Clamp it. <sighs> well, oh. I guess word of that spread around town. An entire group Clamp of people it. came up. A few, uh... <sighs> a few degenerates. Good to see you. <clears throat> were wanting the same thing. <laughs> They oh, crowded in seems front like of the clinic great and company. wanted to see... Sorry for interrupting. And I Unfortunately, quote, no one is at the tavern to serve us drinks. Mine. 
the ball clamper. Oh, oh my god. The ball <laughs> clamper? <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh, yeah. that sounds like I'm a nickname for someone mm. in our profession, a doctor. <laughs> Interesting. That's what all Soma they were wanting to see. <laughs> <laughs> Strangest day. Hmm. Uh. Well, at least you weren't that guy. Another woman. <laughs> oh, thankfully. There's another woman who came by, uh. About this worker. This was recently. This one. Oh. I got why. Came I up and she sounded like. Oh. Don't suppose you're going to share? Noises at us. She More called herself the spider. <laughs> uh, oh. <sighs> Do we know anyone like that? Spider. I mean, uh, we're so going new. I don't think. At us. Oh, I haven't. Very. I haven't. So <sighs> have you been? Maybe. Keeping Maybe busy. Other strangers along the road. <laughs> I told you that was more of a one-time thing for me. Not really that good of a person. Uh, <clears throat> well, you're not to be the best person, just the best version of yourself. The saying goes, right? Some would argue I am the opposite of that. The worst version of myself. Hmm. Well. And who am I to judge your own perception of <clears throat> yourself? Fair point. You are more self-aware than most people in this town, at least. <clears throat> well. I try not to, uh... I guess the way to put it, decide what other people should be doing. That seems to be a very common thing these day and age. Incredibly common. I merely pass my own... Yeah. I merely pass my thoughts, and if they want them or not, it's up to them. <clears throat> You're not one to take moral right high ground. Okay. As you wish. Oh, well. I take the moral high ground when I deem it appropriate. <clears throat> you know, for half a second, I thought he was going to let me in. I really thought he was going to let me in. <clears throat> well, you see, the thing is, Tiberius, this was a fucking trap, and you fucking failed. You failed the test. <clears throat> I do hope you like wine. It's the only preferred drink I have. I'll allow it. You uh, live in this one. Ah. I live as a strong one. Merely temporary. Hmm. Where to, my friend? Yeah. You seem to know the city's best spots. I'll let you pick. Normally I go and brood somewhere, but in this circumstance, those poor ladies at the tavern have been nearly stood up. I would hate to leave them alone. Ah, well, then by your leave. <clears throat> I hate to leave two gorgeous women unintended to. This is my thoughts exactly. <laughs> you have been busy today. Oh. What would make you say that? Uh, I saw you building the wall. That could not have been fun. They're going to leave. Ah. They're going to leave us. Well, we best pick up the pace and make sure they don't. Now, shall we? After you, you are the noble one. <laughs> this is where you <sighs> offer them their your arm and make sure they get home nice and safe. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I need Pardon hurry. me, ladies. Oh, okay. Ah, you seem to be walking very much in the dark alone. Would you like me to escort you back to your homes? To your safety and all? I wouldn't hurt. Hmm? 
on that road. We also have a, a bottle of wine we're gonna have to get through. A little harder with just two people. <laughs> oh. that true. Sounds like my kind of mm. evening. <laughs> Indeed. Well okay. then, ladies, why don't you find us a nice spot where we can all relax? Hmm? <laughs> I think we have one of those okay. in mind. Let's do it. <laughs> The old soldier looks a little downfallen. Oh, less you lost. much to think about. Hmm. And you were saying, yes, it was a <clears throat> bit of a busy day. Yes. Here we see you walking around. Following the young lordling, different places must be exhausting. Not at all. Happy to do it. <laughs> this is I why I call you the noble one. <laughs> <laughs> right this way. Uh -huh. Shall we? Nothing like some wine and some steaming <clears throat> waters, vapors in the air. We also have a room available if you're interested in investing in it. Mm. I'll see if the second floor is still available. Might be wise. I had quite uh, a long bath, to be it honest. It won't be. There's, there's already... Oh, they rented um, the whole night? <laughs> yes, they rented the whole night. Ah, uh, okay. This place really not have like a lounge or something. Is the bathhouse, I suppose. Um, mm -hmm. We, we kind bath. of have one in the entryway. <clears throat> no. There's plenty of chairs. That could work. After you. Mm -hmm. This way, gentlemen. Mm. Uh, we have plenty of places to are. sit. Now, the second um, floor has been bought out for the night, but... What? We also have this lovely room. Ooh, we get our own room. I suppose it pays to be nice to the that ladies. That's a possibility. Always. No. Oh. Can never go wrong with that. We are hospitality, <laughs> after all. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> no, it looks like they have a lot of fun in here. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with the harp. Hmm. Oh, oh yes, you're kind of very effective. Hmm. Now I believe with the pitch with the fork. <laughs> very, very <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> Now, you seem <sighs> very familiar. <laughs> well, I was here not too long ago. <sighs> mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. <sighs> long day? Yeah, Kyla just takes off his hood. <laughs> just really casually. Very good day. That's good. <laughs> now only getting better. <laughs> you noble knights with your suave words. <laughs> ah, you should see how my lord is. You should see the Hanum all wrapped around his <clears throat> finger not too long ago. <laughs> and then the other night, as well. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a sucker for a certain charm. Mm hmm. Mm. My defenses such were clearly not up ladies. for it. <laughs> well, with such charming ladies, how can they resist? <laughs> I tend to not. More cases than not. <clears throat> I think the All last right, two I'm... clients I've had were pretty insistent that they were just going to come in for a bath, and that didn't end up being the case. Oh. 
Looks like we have a long night to find that out now, don't we? <laughs> and a long night of wine. Depending on how quick we get through that bottle, we may have to order another one. Or two, or three. <laughs> well, we do. We do have some in our own supplies. So, I'm pretty sure we can remedy uh -huh. that problem. There we go. I know this isn't exactly a party at the tavern, but uh, hopefully it suffices. Thank you. Oh, it more than suffices. Here, I thought I was going to have to be going to bed alone. Mm. It goes good with the smoke. Right. <laughs> Here we are, my friend. Oh, thank you. Uh, you should tell these ladies how we met. Oh, uh -huh. yes. Up at the... You see, uh, this gentleman and I met on a very unique evening night. We had both noticed uh, a couple who were uh, on a walk on the late night. The moon was bright out, and there was some scoundrels, oh, I've had some. Thank the way you. I would put it. They were Thank intending to, well, uh, only horrid thoughts for the poor couple. It was thanks to this gentleman here we were able to save the couple and ensure that nothing happened to them. Oh. Hectors of sorts. See? He is too modest. Truthfully, he had a handle, but, uh, well. Figured I'd <laughs> jump in as well. And so humble. <laughs> but even if you're just jumping in, it still costs you something to do so. Whether it even be just your time and effort. Hmm. I suppose. Please take some credit. Just for you. <laughs> oh, what an honor. Hmm. <laughs> So how do you two... Will you guys be wanting to rest with us the whole night? I always try to prepare some things to be a little more comfortable. Hmm, maybe a little more wine will find that out. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> I like the sire. I unfortunately... Okay, I apologize. What was your question? We'll have to leave you to fend for yourself. Not too long from here. I have a busy night. <laughs> ah... But I will enjoy your company. Well, until then. I'm... <laughs> I'm sure oh, you well, can I handle it. Pleasure of enjoying yours. <laughs> uh, face many you say that different now. fields of battle. I'm more than happy to challenge <laughs> this one. <laughs> I have fought many people, many different kinds of people, many different battles that have always looked terrible. I still never fully understand women. Mysterious creatures. <laughs> that is by design. <laughs> we have to keep some secrets people. after all. <clears throat> oh, I'm all about secrets. <laughs> they are some of the most dangerous things I've found in the world. Those who have them can hold sway over the others. You see, now you as understand. As valuable as it is those to keep them. Of course, in my profession, we get to get be around people that have their guards down a lot. Oh, I'm quite Makes very useful for learning. <laughs> I've worked with some of you oh, girls in the past. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. And were you... What, what was your assessment of our skills then? Impressive. Very. <laughs> Interrogation tactics can be interesting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a gentler Aww. touch is needed. This is when I come to ladies so like you. Mm -hmm. I also happen to pay sure. quite well. <laughs> oh, well, that is the language I speak the most. Well, if I need a hand with something, I'll be the first to... person to ask. Always. I do have to. And they know how to do their job quite well. Mm -hmm. Just as well as my ears. We are talking business. This is very rude. I apologize. <laughs> Come now. <clears throat> I'm the one, if anything, is interrupting you, the business you have. <laughs> I'm only offered the wine. I choose to come here. 
<laughs> I certainly hope so. Although I have heard a couple different uh, cases where men felt held hostage here. But I assure you it wasn't by physical oh. force. Perish the thought. A little enclosure. <laughs> At least nothing you didn't ask the for. These poor men. <laughs> <clears throat> what can I say? Ah, can't say no to a good time. When one is presented before you. <laughs> Life is too short to worry so much about not taking those chances, I suppose. Exactly. Well, Might as well have a good time a rather than living long time. Very unique situation. <laughs> Thank Unfortunately, you. this man is going to live a very long time, aren't you, my friend? <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I'm going to live for so long and see so many <laughs> more things. I meet so many more interesting individuals, like the ones I see tonight. Mm. I think the pleasure is ours. I mean, you Always. can expect to find some beautiful women where there's alcohol being served, but some interesting gentlemen like yourselves, ooh, what a rare find. Interesting. We are interesting gentlemen. Yes. That is high praise. <laughs> that is high praise, especially from ladies such as these. I have to say I'm a sucker for the rugged look. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Are so we, maybe I was doomed from the start. Are but we both rugged? I will or... still give you. I mean, I yes, can't quite tell <laughs> your face, but it, the, your style seems and your demeanor seems to come up rugged to me still. I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> you can tell a lot by the way a man holds himself and the way he walks. No. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to find the value in being observant. Allows me to better do my job. Very good. Good answer. <laughs> a woman with fine taste and a fine eye. Can't say no to any of those marks. There are many fine things about this one. <laughs> oh. uh, you're going to make me melt. I have to remember sometimes that I'm a businesswoman. And now you tease me, well, knowing that you'll have to be leaving at some point tonight. I will have to leave you in the capable hands of my friend here. <laughs> I am getting a little well, tired. Well, I suppose not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should let the two of you turn in then. I think it is my cue to leave. A busy night ahead of me. I leave the three of you to uh, well, may you still have have a wonderful night. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful night, regardless. He puts the silver down the table. And do promise you'll come back to chat. Of course. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Mm. Good night, the three of you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> good night. A well, very good night to you then. That silver is yours if you can use the fork. <laughs> oh, a challenge. <laughs> well, that's easy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Motherfucker was definitely going in with the intention on of bringing them on board. Or getting something on Tiberius that he could use. <clears throat> Savitar's a fucking scumbag, man. <laughs> Now, the next step is for Sevatar to speak to Basil about that bathhouse girl to see if she is worth bringing on board. We cross-check. I 
Patches in the motor right now? That's okay, we won't do it now. Uh, he'll check it, like, another day. We're wrapping up, it's okay. <clears throat> Bring Ash here now! 